Hello, welcome back to Bite Size Nuggets on Blood Transfusion. I am Dr. Farida Idris from UPM. Topic today is ABO Blood Group. ABO Blood Group System is the first one to be identified by Kailan Steiner in 1900. Sometimes it is also called ABH system. We will learn about H antigen later. This is the most important blood group system in the transfusion practice because not everybody with a particular blood group can receive blood transfusion if the donor is from a different blood group. There are four types of ABO blood group. They are A, B, AB and O. They are based on what are the antigens present on the red cell membrane and also what are the antibody present in the serum. There are two main antigens in this blood group which are antigen A and antigen B. If the red cells have A antigen on the surface membrane, it is called blood group A. If the red cells have B antigens on the red cell membranes, it is called blood group B. What happens if the red cells have both A and B antigens on the surface membrane? They are called blood group AB. When there is an absence of both blood group A and B antigens, they are called blood group O. ABO blood group is also recognized by the presence or absence of a specific antibodies in a person. Before we discuss further about ABO antibodies, we need to know a bit about Lensteiner law. Lensteiner law states that a person will not have antibody to his or her own antigen, and each person has antibody to the antigen he or she does not have, but this one is specific for ABO blood group only. With that law in mind, let us figure out about the antibody in ABO blood group. If a person with blood group A, he has A antigen with no B antigen. So according to Einstein's law, that person will have anti-B. Similarly, for a person with blood group B, he will have B antigen and antibody A. For people with blood group AB, since they have both A and B antigens, they will not have anti-A or anti-B. For blood group O, they don't have either A or B antigen, so they will have both anti-A and anti-B. What more do we need to know about ABO antibodies? ABO antibodies are naturally occurring antibodies and mostly are IgM. They are produced in the first year of life by sensitization to environmental substances such as food, bacteria and viruses. ABO antibodies are not present at birth and only start to be produced when the infant is around 3 to 6 months of age. They will progressively reach adult level antibodies at 1 year of age. As a conclusion, this table summarizes the whole thing in a simple way. What is the antigen and the antibody expected in a specific ABO blood group? Our next topic will be the importance of ABO blood group.